Tobago to get its very own Productivity Council, CTO to assist with development of Tobago's tourism sector, and the Regional Bank considers funding Tobago's development projects. Info Update, bringing you the latest news, views, and, and reviews, reviews, along with responses, comments, and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. Secretary in the Division of Finance and Enterprise Development, Joel Jack, recently went to Barbados to meet with officials from the Caribbean Tourism Organization, the Caribbean Development Bank, and the University of the West Indies Cave Hill Campus. These meetings were held to look at ways these organizations could partner with Tobago for the mutual benefit of both islands. Coming out of a meeting with the Chairman of the Productivity Council of Barbados, Mr. Andrew DeGans, that island will partner with Tobago to establish a Productivity Council here in Tobago. The establishment of a Productivity Council on the island was identified in the Comprehensive Economic Development Plan for Tobago, CDP 2.0, and was also mentioned in my last budget statement, and the Assembly remains steadfast in actualizing the establishment of the Council. Mr. Jack also explained how the Productivity Council will benefit the island. It is envisioned that the Council will assist the Assembly and the island, the private sector, in research, education, and the necessary technical support in increasing the island's competitiveness. The Secretary also met with the Caribbean Tourism Organization, the CTO. Davia Chambers tells us what came out of that meeting. The CTO is the region's tourism development agency. It has over 30 member countries from the Dutch, English, French, and Spanish islands and works with several private sector bodies. The object is to position the Caribbean as the most desirable year-round warm weather destination. This is why the Tobago House of Assembly has decided to partner with them to take an analytical look at the island's industry. The CTO has committed to providing detailed tourism-specific data for both Trinidad and Tobago. We are also examining the possibility of the application of the tourism satellite accounting to evaluate the impact and contribution of tourism on Tobago's economy. The tourism satellite accounting he's referring to will also provide specific figures on arrivals, occupancy and expenditure. This data will prove invaluable and will satisfy some of the demands made by some industry-specific stakeholders. Mr. Jack says the data provided by the CTO will help the Division of Tourism and Transportation with its planning and marketing plans. He said a similar arrangement was discussed with the Cave Hill campus of the University of the West Indies and it was agreed that they will provide Tobago with specific data separate from the national figures. We have also been able to identify a talent pool at the University of the West Indies who will assist with the work of the Fiscal Policy Unit through economic research. One of the challenges that we have commonly faced is the, sh is the shortage of Tobago-specific economic data. He says the partnership with the university will strengthen the division's research unit and enable them to provide even more accurate projections. I'm Davia Chambers for Info Update. And the Tobago House of Assembly is continuing its efforts to seek alternative funding in face of budgetary shortfalls. Each year, many projects are shelved because the central government does not provide the assembly with the money it needs. But as Omadara Mills tells us, the TH is looking to international organizations for help. Talks began with the Caribbean Development Bank, the CDB, while Mr. Jack was in Barbados. He explains what came out of that meeting. And the meeting ended with a commitment from the bank's representatives to schedule further discussions with the Tobago House of Assembly. A delegation should pay a visit to the island and we will sit together with the Chief Secretary and the wider Tobago House of Assembly as we discuss funding, the funding of other initiatives and important Tobago, Tobago priority projects. The CDB provides funding and technical assistance to its members. Previously, the bank worked with Trinidad to finance infrastructural and energy projects. I'm Omadara Mills for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Lois Vincent and you've been listening to Info Update.